In this video, I want to demonstrate how to install and use the Flickety plugin. Here's the Flickety website. I'll have a link to this in the notes below. Uh, this is a sort of a carousel slideshow plugin. Uh, just be aware that this is only a slide effect. This does not have a fade option. But in those cases where you need a sort of a slideshow where it's uh, touch friendly, this is a great option for that. Uh, there's some uh, various examples in terms of you can have. Um, Let's see here, I'm just on their website here, here we go. So you can have multiple slides grouped up, you can have autoplay enabled, lots of great options you can have. There's lazy load uh, available, so that way you don't have, so if you have a carousel with lots of images, you don't want all those images to get, to be loaded uh, when the page loads for the first time. This way, you can load just the first or two, first two images, something like that, and then when as you, uh, go through the carousel, it loads the additional images. So this way the page doesn't take a long time to load. Uh, it's even got this cool uh, parallax effect, so lots of great options. So I'm just gonna go through a simple demonstration how to install this plugin and use it um, in your project. So inside, um, let's do this with CodePen. So go ahead and if you wanna follow along, open up a fresh CodePen. And the first thing we'll need to do, uh, we can follow their documentation in terms of what we need to install and use. Uh, we will need to include a link to uh, the Flickety CSS and we'll also need the Flickety um, a JavaScript file as well. I'm going to do this with, I'm going to initialize this with jQuery, but you can actually initialize this with uh, HTML um, uh, attribute as well. But I'm going to do this with jQuery. So for that, we will need to include jQuery in our project. So if you're in CodePen, go ahead and mouse over to the, jQuery, to the JavaScript uh, container here and click on that gear icon. Look for this quick add drop down. Look for jQuery here. Here it is right here. And now we have jQuery good to go. Save and close. So if we look at this documentation the first thing we'll need to do is include a link to their CSS now they do provide uh, a link here to a CDN so we can go ahead and take advantage of that uh, so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to copy this here let's copy that uh, go into our HTML click on that gear icon and here in the section where it says step for head I'm going to paste that in here Perfect, save and close. So now we have a link to the Flickety CSS. Now we'll also need a link to the JavaScript. Here it is right over here. We can copy this. Uh, actually, we'll just need the, the link to the script file because inside CodePen, you can actually just uh, put it right over here. So here's the jQuery plugin. Here's the, uh, uh, rather, here's the jQuery library and here's the link to the jQuery plugin paste it down below. So we have the plugin for uh, rather for jQuery at the top and then the plugin uh, code right below it. So that's good to go as well. Save and close. So now we have the CSS, we have the JavaScript uh, for Flickety uh, included so we can start putting this together. So they have a little step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. So let's see here, but let's see what they recommend. So they, by the way, keep in mind they do have a develop, developer license. So if you end up using this in your uh, professional projects, definitely uh, consider that and whatever license is appropriate for your um, situation. So we have a link to the CSS, the JavaScript, so we can go ahead and start um, organizing our, our container. So the first thing we'll need to do is create a div container with carousel cells inside. So let's go ahead and do that now. So you can inside our HTML class, let's just call this one uh, container. Perfect. And inside of here, we'll need to do carousel cells. So these are it right over here. So I'm gonna just copy that. Perfect, and close that div there. Now, for this, what's interesting about this carousel is that you really don't need to include images uh, unless you unless you want to, but you can uh, have a carousel with just text, for example. Uh, in our case, we're just going to use a placeholder as um, a way to include images. So let's go ahead and do that now. So on this placeholder.com website, uh, you look you can look for this example here of including an image. And so inside the carousel cell, you can place that in there, and there it is right here. I'm just gonna make this uh, a square, 350 by 350. And let's go ahead and copy this, three, four, and five. So I have about five of them, perfect. So now that we have our code in place, so we have our container, we have our carousel cells, um, we can go ahead and initialize this. So if we go to Flickety here, how can we do this? So here it is, initialize with jQuery and this is sort of a basic example on how to do that. So let's go ahead and do that here. So down inside our jQuery code, what you can actually do 
talk use jQuery, but let's actually do it this way. I'm going to do a um, uh, an immediately invoke function, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to um, encapsulate this uh, shortcut for the jQuery with the dollar sign without having any issues uh, with um, any other plugin, for instance, or any other function out there, things like that. So what this does is sort of it, it immediately invokes this uh, this function. So this is the function that runs here, and here's that function with that parameter jQuery, which is actually uh, going in here. So basically, this is the is the uh, equivalent of including jQuery inside of here, which is that dollar sign. And so basically we're sending, this is that function. So this is the, uh, this is the actual function here and we're sending, we're running it right, right afterwards and we're passing jQuery through it, which is going to be this dollar sign here. So that way we can start using it. Uh, we can go ahead and do a document dot ready, making sure that the DOM is ready to go. Let's go ahead and Oops, there we are. Perfect. So this is just make sure the DOM is ready for us so we can start using jQuery. So what I want to target here is that container because that includes the carousel cells. Now you can of course call this container, uh, just for uh, demonstration, I'll call this container slides. Make sure we update our note down here. Perfect. So what we want to do is target that container slides. Let's go ahead and do that now. It's a class. We're going to use Flickety. Okay, and let's see, that should work by default. So there it goes, you can see here it automatically reloaded and we have our carousel working for us perfectly. So one thing you'll notice that by default is this this particular carousel has, uh, it's sort of offsets things. It kind of gives this kind of neat effect where you have uh, partially cut off on the sides here. Uh, you may want that, you may not want that. Uh, I tend to not use that in my project. So inside our uh, Flickety, let's include some options. And in fact, they actually include the options I want to use. So this one is cell align left. So I'm going to go to copy that, paste that option in here. Here. So this will align it to the left. So this way, this way you don't have a gap on the sides here. And this way you can do that. Uh, the other thing I, I also like to use with Flickety is if you go back to their scroll to the very top and go back to the uh, options page and what we're looking for is something called um, wrap around. And what wrap around does is if you if you use this example here, it kind of infinitely scrolls. So this is kind of a neat little. Uh, feature that you could include so copy that option as well make sure there's a comma in here place that in there so now when when this scrolls to the end it just keeps on scrolling forever cool uh, what's great about Flickety if you we go back to their the home page I'm gonna scroll to the very top here head back over to their home page scroll down to the install area uh, what they the way they sort of uh, uh, demonstrate this in terms of, oh actually let's go to styles area is that what's really cool about this plugin is that you can control the cells just by modifying the CSS which is really awesome so what do I mean by that so if we go back to our code pen here okay so now that we have uh, the plugin working for us we can start using uh, CSS to style how these elements are displayed uh, the carousel cells are displayed inside the flickety carousel so let's make we can actually do this with CSS so let's go ahead and do that now so the first thing we need to do is make sure our images are responsive so inside our CSS go ahead and target all the images and set the max width to 100% give this a height of auto Perfect, and I also want to inherit the box sizing. So on CSS tricks, I'll include a link to this as well. There's a great code snippet. You can go ahead and copy that and paste it into your project. So let's do that as well. Perfect. And the next thing we're going to do is target the carousel cells and give it a width. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to just close the JavaScript panel for now. Target that carousel cell. Make sure that we put that period in front of it. Perfect. And let's go ahead and set the width. What I want to do is 25%. And let's just save this for now. Oh, here we are. You could sort of see it coming in together. And let's give this a um, padding uh, all around, one rem. Perfect. Let me just go ahead and give this a refresh. Perfect. So now we have four elements across based on our, uh, our um, 
uh, styling right over here. So 25% gives us four. This is really easy to, to sort of style the carousel this way. Now let's let's say we want to make this responsive because as you can see, the further we reduce the viewport here, the, the smaller these images get. So we can actually address that with media query. So let's go ahead and do that now. So at media, so we want to do max width. Let's just say uh, 600 pixels. And once you get to that uh, viewport, carousel, cell, give this a width of 33.33%, perfect. So now as I reduce the viewport here, once you get down to the 600 pixels, you, this turns into three. So maybe I'll just change this to 700. And I'm gonna scroll down a bit here. I'll do another media query. And this one we'll do it at 600 and we'll have this switch to 50 percent perfect so now the way this works is that here in, you have sort of your default desktop uh, viewport if you will and as you reduce it it turns into the 33.33 and you get three boxes across and as you get even more narrow it turns into 50 percent you get two boxes across and you can continue doing this until you get to 100 percent so let's do that now 500 and set this to 100 percent Perfect. So now as you reduce this, now you have, you go from four to, th to th here's three, to two, and then finally to one. Perfect. Great. And there's a lot of great options with Flickety that you can use in terms of whether you want to change the arrows, whether you want to include the navigation dots or not. So if you go to options here, you'll see lots of great options for you to use. You can have the initial index start at two, meaning that the, when the page first loads, it starts off at the second one things like that. Uh, let's see here. So if you go through this, you'll see lots of great uh, uh, utilities to use in the carousel, lots of great options for you. Uh, let's see here if there's any other thing. You can turn off dragging. In other words, if you uh, don't want people to be able to do this, you can set that to false. And all of that is done with jQuery in the options over here. So basically what we've done is we've targeted the container slides, we've initiated uh, Flickety on it, we've, we've put the, um, the brackets in here to include these set of options for us. So we have cell on the left, wrap around, uh, let's see here, oops, head back over here. Uh, free scroll is kind of cool, you can actually, uh, there's, it doesn't actually stop at a, at a certain um, uh, carousel, it just kind of keeps going. Uh, kind of neat. So depending on use case, there's lots of different options for you to take advantage of. Uh, here's lazy load. Lazy load. It's a bit different. You have to. You do need to replace the image sources with uh, data flickly lazy load, and this way it'll um, use JavaScript to lazy load the images as you scroll through it. Uh, things like that. So lots of great options for you as well, including autoplay. So you can have this scrolling as soon as the page loads, ready to go. Uh, let's see here. You can include uh, two different carousel cells and be able to control one with the other. So great, great information on the documentation page. So this should at least get you going uh, using the Flickety slideshow in a responsive scenario.